Okay, I just used the util Toshiba Utility to create the recovery DVDs and now I'm ready to use them. So I put disk 1 in, boot up, and hit F12, hitting F12 on the keyboard. And I'm going to go ahead and select CD DVD drive because that's where our recovery DVD is. Hit OK. Our goal today is to rebuild the machine in like new condition. So any any data files, any music, videos, pictures, documents, all of that stuff needs to be backed up before you go through this process. If you haven't done that yet, stop this video now, put in a USB key, boot up to normal windows, copy your stuff over to that, or to a DVD, or to a network share, but make sure your data is backed up before going through this process. This is just how to use the Toshiba recovery DVD set to recover your machine to like new condition. We put DVD1 in the drive, we turned it on, we hit F12 to get the boot selection screen so that it didn't boot to the hard drive. And that boot selection screen we selected option 2 which was the CD-DVD drive. And here we are. We'll see the Toshiba menu, and at this point, we'll just select the Toshiba Recovery Wizard. That second option would be if you wanted to try to repair your computer using some Microsoft utilities that check your system files. But we're going to wipe this thing and restore it to like new condition. So that's why this warning appears. It's telling you you're going to lose all your data. Make sure your AC adapter is plugged in. We know we're going to lose it all and our AC adapter is plugged in. So I'm going to click yes. And here are two options. Option one is recovery factory default software, which is recover to the out of the box state. That's what we want. The second option, erase the hard drive, um, is, uh, is good for if you're going to donate the machine um, or you're going to you just want to wipe the hard drive before you replace it with a new hard drive and you want to throw that drive away and not have any of the data be recoverable. Um, that erase the hard disk option will give you some menus where you can overwrite the sectors on your hard drive making them um, unrecoverable to anybody who would fish your hard drive out of a trash or recycle somewhere. So anyways in our case we're going to select recovery of factory default software. We want to recover to the out of the box state. System recovery options are included. All partitions will be deleted. You'll lose all data on the hard drive. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes, we know. This is removing the partition that's on the existing hard drive, creating a new partition, formatting that partition. So the partitioning and the formatting part has completed. Now it's showing us that it's copying files. This is going to take some time. This is uh, Windows 7 Home Premium. Um, all of the files that are necessary to install the operating system to this hard disk. Now the Toshiba Recovery Wizard is asking for disk 2. It automatically ejects the previous disk. Now I'll feed it the second disk. And say OK. Time for disk 3.
creating CRC. Okay, recovery is complete. Now restart. Make sure we do not hit F12 to boot to a CD. And we should now be booting to a fresh copy of Windows 7 Home Premium. Thank you. 
Okay, Windows is warning me about a driver that it's installing that isn't signed. It's fine, I'm gonna close that. All right, finally done with the Windows 7 Home Premium installation right from the Toshiba Recovery DVDs. Give it a computer name and a username. In this case, we're going to go with Dave. No password. Accept the EULAs. I'm going to do ask me later because I'm going to go ahead and do um, manual updates the first few times.